So we are on our way back from our very first trip to the Jim Jilbong. Um, it was interesting. It was very, first of all, it's a very gendered space for gendered bodies. Um, we were in the girls section on the women's floor. <laughs> but, um, but it was all naked. It was so, a Jim Jilbong is like a, I don't know what it translates to, Bong is room. It's a spa-ish, spa sauna space. So you go, it's open 24 hours. Um, is this where we turn? Okay. It's open 24 hours. So we went and it's like, it was 8,000 won, so about $8. And then an extra one, an extra dollar for um, a robe, but I didn't get a robe. And neither did Emily. Although maybe the robe was the pajamas that we got, the shorts and shirt, we don't know. You go in and the first locker is for your shoes, and then the second locker is for all your clothing. You strip straight up, it's all naked. And then you go, there's a drying room, like to get dressed again and dry yourself off, presumably in the opposite order. Um, and then there's the main room, so there's like showers, and it's a stone floor, showers, and then these spots where people were like sitting and there were hoses to wash like spray I guess sitting sit down showers, sit down showers I sit down showers I think and then a massage space two really really hot steam rooms one at like 75 Celsius and the other at 85 Celsius I don't even know what that means other than the really fucking hot um, there were like chairs to sit and then there were a wide variety of tubs almost all of them were hot to different temperatures. Some you could sit in all the way, some were just for your feet, some were bubbly, some weren't bubbly. One was large and deep and icy. Oh god, it was so cold. It was so cold. Emily took a bucket full and poured it on herself. Um, which I think was in fact- Everyone else was doing it. Everyone, everyone else was. And as my mom would say, and if everyone else was jumping off a bridge, would you join them? Maybe if it were a cultural experience, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was it was very interesting. It was you know how sometimes when it's too hot you get really sleepy. It was like that. <laughs> I don't even know how long we sat in that chair. And it's like steamy. And it's all humid and hot. It was it was actually really nice. Um, and considering that I haven't had a hot shower in my apartment yet, except by use of a, an electric kettle, it was really nice. And I could see walking over here and spending eight bucks for a, a hot shower. Um, uh, yeah. So yeah, it was, and I can see, there were actually, there were kids there too. There were a couple like really tiny boys, but most of it, like, there were a bunch of young girls um, with their like family event type things, like with their parents, their moms. Yeah, wide age variety. I could see like, it could be really good to bring girls here so that they can see what a wide variety of body types there are. Um, although, on the other hand, all, all the Korean women looked the same. All their bodies were pretty much the same. Not a whole lot of scarring, not a whole lot of, I was sure I had the only, there were no tattoos in there, anyway. Um, there were not really any piercings except the ears, not, yeah, not really a wide variety of shapes either. It's pretty much all the same shape and color. Um, but yeah, it could be good. Um, I will definitely be going back there. So yeah, this morning we I made a whole load of pancakes mm -hmm. that were really good actually. Mm -hmm. They were really good. And we watched Serenity because Emily and I started marathoning Firefly how long ago? At least three years ago. <laughs> and, and then we went our separate ways and then we came back and this last week have watched the rest of the episodes so this morning we watched Serenity so that was good and we're going to go home and make some dinner I've got some salmon that I got at Costco I'm going to make some like vegetable or something <laughs> some sort of plant I don't know they're expensive but I feel like I should be eating one so I guess we'll do that. And yeah, that's it. I hope your weekend was awesome. Bye.